almost like the flashpoint where it starts, one of the key matrix lines that will help shatter this status centralized system. Hello, friends, and welcome to Flashpoint Radio. Thank you for joining me. It is April 28th, a Saturday, I know. I am your host, Jay-Z, coming to you on a Saturday because when your Friday at work turns into 13 hours and you have plans with your wife, well, the right thing to do is to keep the plans with your wife and take off a night of doing your information broadcast. I want to remind everybody to follow me, though, on Twitter at Flashpoint Radio, Facebook.com slash Flashpoint Radio. Like this video if you like this, share it with your friends, and then if you wish, subscribe. The button is above, and you will receive updates when a new Flashpoint Radio has been released. We're going to start on this Saturday edition with some news involving the Secret Service. Uh, I was watching the news with my father and wife, and it had said that there are new regulations for the Secret Service to keep them from acting out as they did. Uh, Headline from foxnews.com, chaperones included in new Secret Service conduct rules. Yes, these are adults who are tasked with protecting those in positions of power, and now they need babysitters to prevent them from doing things such as hiring prostitutes, going to strip clubs, um, and in El Salvador, reportedly pushing women out of moving uh, cars, official ambassador cars, vehicles. Um, <laughs> this, this, is what, this is the government's answer. Not firing everybody, not saying if you do this again, you're fired, um, not actually hiring qualified applicants, but hiring more people hiring chaperones to protect our Secret Service from themselves. Um, It states that uh, no foreigners are allowed in uh, hotel rooms of Secret Service agents unless they are hotel staff or foreign law enforcement colleagues. And they also ban visits to, quote, non-reputable establishments. And of course, the term non-reputable is not defined. Uh, There's no mention of strip clubs or prostitutes, obviously because when you're in another land, um, they have different laws. And as a visitor, you can take advantage of another country. That's the beauty of traveling in America. But of course, the IRS did just say that they may freeze your passport if you don't pay your taxes. Start page that. Check out the links below for, for more research in the description. Um, A Republican, Peter King, oh, he loves us so much. He stated, uh, quote, that the new rules were very positive steps by the Secret Service to make clear what is expected of every agent and also make clear what will not be tolerated. Mm. Um, So, uh, Homeland Security head Jan Napolitano, Mr. Napolitano, assured senators this week that the incident in Colombia appeared to be an isolated case. Um, But the next day, after she stated that, the Secret Service acknowledged it was investigating whether employees hired strippers and prostitutes in advance of Obama's visit last year to El Salvador. Now, I I ask you, is this uh, endemic of the Secret Service, or is this new employees that were hired by this administration, or is this, in my opinion, as it is, uh, uh, just a example of what government does to people, what power does to people. You take you take your badge of I am the Secret Service tasked with protecting the president and you go to another country and, uh, you know, basically you're grown, you're, you're, you're reared to believe that we are better than everyone else on, on planet Earth. And so you go there and would, would, would you find it any different than to um, exercise your power and to act like you're better than people and abuse people? Maybe not. I don't know. Um, I think that this is just a a ridiculous attempt at distracting us from what is really going on, i.e. the economy, uh, the housing crisis, which is ramping up for round two or round three, however you want to put it. Um, And, uh, you know, things that things that may happen this summer leading up to the election or the distraction that is President Obama uh, trotting out his killing or alleged killing of Osama bin Laden, which he said he would not spike the football 
and uh, use it as a, pol a political maneuver, but he is doing that being that his ratings are low and there are some chances that he might not uh, be elected in November. But we're going to move right along to a few other stories uh, revolving around my favorite, one of my favorite topics, um, those wonderful people at the TSA. Uh, we, we went over an article earlier this week about a four-year-old who was given an enhanced pat-down in a separate room because she went to hug her grandmother at the gate. Um, the TSA has defended their, uh, they have defended their actions and they said, uh, the, 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 uh, explanation for them is, uh, the TSA has reviewed the incident and determined that our officers followed proper screening procedures in conducting a modified pat-down on the child. Uh, this is the four-year-old from Wichita, Kansas. Um, she is an adorable looking young lady and uh, I, I feel horribly sorry for her. Um, but it is, of course, as you know, not an isolated incident from CBS, District of Columbia, headline, Family Misses Flight After TSA Gives Pat Down to Girl with Cerebral Palsy. A seven-year-old female who is using uh, braces to walk because she has issues walking because of a birth defect, um, picture obvious there you go another beautiful looking child and the tsa decided to give her an enhanced pat down um they fly often and they knew that they are uh, under extra scrutiny um but they said the agents began to handle her aggressively uh, after a supervisor decided to let her go uh, quote they make our lives completely difficult quote she's not a threat to national security um Joshua Frank, a Long Island pediatrician, stated, quote, they're harassing people. This is totally misguided policy. And of course, this is the caveat that everyone has to put in. Yes, I understand that the TSA is in charge of national security and there's all these threats. But for her to be singled out, it's crazy. What are all these threats, Mr. Pediatrician, Mr. Joshua Frank? Why don't you just leave that portion of your statement out and claim and state what you believe, which is the TSA is not doing their jobs and they're not keeping anyone safe. Um, the TSA has responded with the exact quote from the other story about the four-year-old. TSA has reviewed the incident and determined that our officers followed proper screening procedures in conducting a modified pat-down on the child. Way to press copy, paste, and send. Transportation, uh, safety administration, security administration, total uh, sexual advances from uh, screeners that, well, according to... The LA Times, TSA screeners allegedly let drug-filled luggage through LAX for cash. Um, there was a sophisticated drug smuggling ring going on involving TSA agents at Los Angeles International Airport. Uh, they would phone, they would uh, contact the mole or the, uh, uh, the gopher, I, I suppose that's the term, and they would state which line to go through to get, uh, to get through security without uh, scrutiny. Ah, uh, yes. This is who we are hiring to protect us while we're flying on a plane. No longer are we uh, allowing private companies to do their own screening to uh, decide who is qualified to give security. They're giving uh, some people who cannot get jobs at other um, places, say, security guard at Target. They're giving them the opportunity to put on a blue button-up and boss us around at the airports. Ask yourself, just ask yourself, are they keeping us safe? 9-11, inside job, who cares? But has it been used to take your freedoms and to intrude on your privacy? And have any of the steps that they've taken since then worked? Have they stopped any terrorist before they got on the plane? Even if you believe that uh, all of the terrorists caught on planes were actually working on their own, they weren't stopped by the TSA. Not the underwear bomber. Not the shoe bomber. None of them. So ask yourself, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Even if it, the threat is real, is the security worth giving up your freedoms? I state no. Benjamin Franklin stated no. Jay-Z signing off the Saturday special edition. I've got to get to my child or my uh, pregnant wife and I's baby shower. I'm very excited. Thank you for your viewing. God bless. Keep your eyes to the sky, and I'll see you back on Monday. Well, if you're looking for trouble, I'm the man.